my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Hey, how do you break free from, from a plateau? And plateaus happen to all of us. That's the first realization you have to have, that it's a normal and natural thing that happens because our development uh, doesn't really follow a straight line. It's, it, it does over time. If you take all the little numbers of progress and put them together, you'll see a, some, somewhat of a straight line. But, but it goes up and down like this, you know, and then you have progress. Yeah, I got results. Then I didn't. Oh, then I'm, you know, I practiced yesterday. And then I, you know, the next day I'm worse than I was yesterday. And it goes up and down like that. And if you follow each and every little, you know, uh, you know, detail in that development, you're going to, you know, freak out and be, you know, cr a crazy person. It's like watching the news, right? Instead of, you know, looking at the statistics of what happens in society and making your political decisions based on that, you look into every single little detail that happens here. Oh, did that happen? Oh my God, back and forth like that, right? You, you, you put your nose in other people's business to a degree where you just live and breathe all the drama that you're not really not part of, right? That's a little sidetrack here. But basically that's what we do when we, when we follow our own development like that. And then when we don't develop suddenly, and it seems like we're not getting results or we even get worse, we get really bogged down, right? Because we need to get the big picture. If you're involved in what happens all the time, your emotions is going to reflect that. So we need to say, you need to make decisions and say, what am I going to do this month? What, what are the, the activities I'm going to you know, be involved in? And then you need to stop evaluating each and every day and say, I'm going to practice this much with these exercises, whatever it is that I'm doing, and then I'm going to evaluate whether or not I made progress in four weeks or eight weeks, right? And then stop the going back and forth between, I haven't developed for a week, I haven't been making any progress for, for two weeks or four weeks even, even though I've been practicing as hard or doing the same things that used to give me progress. I can tell you one thing, there is nothing you do that will not give you an effect. But the effect doesn't come like, you know, clockwork. It's not like I, I, did this, I did this a thousand times and now I need my reward. Give me, you know, because the brain is a complex organism. The body is a complex organism that needs to assimilate and digest all the repetitions you give it. And sometimes that's a rapid progress. Sometimes that's a slower progress, but it will assimilate every single repetition you do. Everything counts. Everything matters. But it depends. Are you stressed in that period of time? You know, there's something going on in the workplace, some other stuff that, that your whole body, your whole system needs to focus on. So it kind of puts those other things on hold. Or have you been giving your brain so many repetitions that it's simply overwhelmed and cannot process them fast enough? You can just keep on, you know, doing repetitions. It'll just be stacked, right? But it won't be processed. So you, you, you have to uh, because we human beings, we really want that. You know, I'm doing this, then I get this. You know, I, I've done this, then give me my reward. And if I don't get it, I get frustrated. And I know how that feels, right? But you have to develop the ability to be on a plateau and just continue. Just uh, even amp up your, your practice schedule, right? So instead of pulling back and going, oh, I'm not getting results, why is this? You just keep on going. Persistence, you just, you know, tenacity, you just stay in there until you win through. And I promise you, promise you that you will. If you... Give the brain enough accurate uh, repetitions of what it is that you actually want to become good at. It is going to learn. It's just a matter of the results not showing up right now. Uh, so, so you have to you have to have a wider perspective when you when you try to determine uh, the the results you get from any given action, right? You have to have a and if you look into it too much, like we do the news, just an analogy there, <laughs> then then you're going to get, you know, you're going to get influenced by that. So just take it easy, you know, focus on doing whatever you set out to do for an extended period of time, and then, you know, uh, evaluate after that. And even so, you might even, you know, say, I've been practicing this for four weeks, then give it some time to kind of, you know, mature. So give it even four weeks where you don't focus on it, 
in order for you to see the full results of that focus you have for those four weeks of picking skills or whatever it is. I, I, I practiced uh, so much for two years that, it, you know, I had to use another two years for my brain just to get into all the repetitions. And really, so I, I didn't see the full value of all my practicing before, you know, several months after I stopped practicing that intensely. And so, so you have to really uh, be clear on that, that even though you're not getting the reward, it's going to come. Every single repetition you do has value and is going to mean something for your learning process. So that's the way to get out of a plateau. Just keep on going until it stops, because I promise you the plateau will stop. It always does. It does for everyone. So just, you know, clap your horse, keep going. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.